returns as Seth Petrozelli faces the native of the Czech Republic, six-time national wrestling champion, Carlos Benela. Six-time Czech Republic wrestling champion, Carlos Vemela specializes in finishing fights. So much that all eight of his pro victories have come via knockout or submission. And after a three-round battle with John Madsen, proved that he can go the distance, he's looking to end things early tonight. That type of attitude is just fine with Ultimate Fighter veteran Seth Petrozelli, who pulled out all the stops in an effort to finish Ricardo Romero. So with both light heavyweights gearing up for a spectacular stoppage, this bout has all the makings of a fight to remember. Coming up next, Carlos Vemela takes on Seth, the silverback Petrozelli. Eight and one in his mixed martial arts career. Born in Prague, Czech Republic. Now fighting out of London, England. And the London Shoot Fighters gym, Carlos Vemela. He made his UFC debut as a heavyweight. He fights tonight at 205. And I think that's a great move for him, Mike. He just seemed to be carrying far too much muscle in his fight against John Madsen. And it just seemed like it, it was weighing him down and it was causing him to gas out early. And I think 205 better suits his frame. Very, very powerful and explosive young man with big power both in his punches and, of course, in his grappling. You know, he's, he's thickly muscled at 205. I think this is a much, much better weight class for him. He has not gone out of the first round in any of his victories. His longest fight in victory was three minutes and 14 seconds. Five times he's won in less than a minute. Moved to the UK five years ago, he said, you know, back at home, we get better and better with as MMA grows around the world. But in London, England, with Mustafa El Turk and Pride veteran James Thompson and Jeremy Horn comes over a lot, he says, I'm getting some great MMA training. Yeah, that gym, you know, John Hathaway trains there as well. That London Shoot Fighter gym is an outstanding gym. And, you know, he's getting some great training over there. And I think they made a real good move dropping him down to light heavy. He said his fitness has improved at 205, Joe. He said he feels faster, and probably most importantly, he doesn't feel like he's lost any strength. From the Czech Republic, six-time Czech Republic national wrestling champion, Carlos Vemela. Looking for his first UFC victory here tonight in Germany. No lack of personality inside or outside the octagon. Seth Petrozelli, he looked good early against Ricardo Romero. He was throwing some of his crazy kicks and looked like he had control. Boom, suffered his first loss since 2007. He said coming into tonight, he's really upped his conditioning, Joe. Well, you know, I think in that fight, he just gassed out because he tried to finish the fight early. And Ricardo Romero is just really tough. Seth Petrozelli hit him with everything but the kitchen sink. I mean, it was really amazing. Much lesser men would have been out for sure. Petrozelli kicked him, punched him, blasted him, really just threw everything at him in hopes to stop him and wasn't able to do it. He blew his wad, unfortunately for him, and was really tired in that second round, and Romero was able to finish him. But it was, you could tell, he was completely exhausted and spent by the time he was taken out. But and what an incredible first round it was, though. Petrozelli has outstanding strikes. He's got great punches and kicks. Comes from a traditional karate background, but has incorporated Muay Thai and Jiu-Jitsu as well. He's a Jiu-Jitsu brown belt, as you see there, and you know they have the pro kickboxing experience. He's fought Bob Sapp and K1. Really outstanding fighter, both in personality and in skill. Romero suffered a broken jaw, a sprained knee, and a torn pec muscle in that fight with Seth Petrozelli. Amazing. Ricardo yeah. Romero is tough. Petrozelli looks for his first UFC win tonight as he takes on Carlos Vemela. Our 
our tale of the tape for this light heavyweight fight. The American Petrozelli, five years the elder of the fighter from the Czech Republic. Everything else is virtually identical. With the official introductions, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC, a light heavyweight division. Introducing first, Fighting out of the blue corner, a wrestler holding a professional record, eight wins, one loss, standing six feet tall, weighing in at 205 pounds, 93 kilos, fighting out of London, England, Carlos Vamela! And now introducing his opponent, Fighting out of the red corner, a mixed martial artist holding a professional record, 14 wins, 6 losses, standing 6 feet tall, weighing in at 205 pounds, 93 kilos, fighting out of Orlando, Florida, USA, the silverback, Seth Petruzzelli! And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Leon Roberts. Leon Roberts will be our referee for this fight in the light heavyweight division. The beautiful Shondella, Ariani. Kolnig Pilsner Arena, Oberhausen, Germany. Petrizelli okay, and Vemela. You ready to fight? Bring it on. And on. we are underway. Petrozelli swinging early, Joe. White trunks for Seth Petrozelli, black trunks for Vemela. He yeah, pushes Vemela. forward. Vemela and wants charging to in. Man, and gets it big time. What a slam. That's finishing the single. That is a powerful man. Seth Petrozelli, though, no stranger to fighting off of his back. Very good at covering up from the guard and will attack from the bottom both with submissions and with strikes, Mike. Petrozelli pushes away and he's up. Bemela just charged forward. He ducks the head, charges forward, grabs a leg again. Man, that's some serious power that guy's got. And the way he finishes that, Mike, that is just pure brute strength. He said he used to be stronger than most of the heavyweights he fought. Now at 205, this could be a huge advantage in the career of Carlos Vemela over the long haul. I absolutely think so. I mean, he was, oh, self, look at this. Working for a triangle, could not get it. Nice posture by Vemela, but it just shows you Seth Petrozelli is attacking off his back. Looking to hammer away on Petrozelli. Look at this. Drops down and enters the guard. Very interesting. I don't, I don't know what that's all about. Petrozelli went after an arm a second ago. Yeah, he's got to be careful when he reaches behind Petrozelli's head like that, Mike. See how he's grabbing with yep. that left the arm? Left arm, yep. That's very dangerous. And if he allows Petrozelli to control his wrist, Pet Petrozelli will throw a leg up very quickly. He's trying to control both wrists. He's got the right wrist right now. And Seth's He's pressing thinking it down. exactly the same thing, isn't he? Yes, he is. Yeah, I mean, obviously he went for it earlier. And Seth will do it very quickly. He'll jump on it very quickly. Now the... Vemela is very strong, though, Mike. It's very hard for Petrozelli to control him. But see how Petrozelli is pushing that... There he goes again. Yep. Hands in place, though. He turns into an armbar. Lost the armbar. Back up to his feet. Vemela all over him. Vemela standing, one. standing on top. He's got his back. Now he's got hooks. But Petrozelli tried to get that arm again. Yeah, Petrozelli's going to peel that arm off. He's going to try. Oh, drops down just to get out of that position. That's an interesting choice by him. He brought himself to the ground just to get out of that. He didn't want Vemela, that strong guy, hanging on his back. Vemela keeping up a nice pace here in round one. Two minutes on the clock. Yeah, I really do think this is an excellent move, having this guy down here at light heavy. He's oh, young too, Joe. Gonna, he's going to roll. Vemo's got to be very careful of that right arm. Good left that connects. He's got to be very careful of that right arm. But Petrozelli can get that. Nope. Good shots by Carlos Vemela. Yeah, Petrozelli's got to cover up here. Yep. Ninety seconds now on the clock. 
Vemilov fought in his UFC debut at 222 pounds, so he said getting to 205 was not a problem at all. Big shots. Oh, oh, Petrozelli's hurt. Petrozelli's in big trouble, and it's it is it. all over! It's it. Carlos Vemela has defeated Seth Petrozelli. Petrozelli's still hurt. Man, that's some serious Petruzzelli power that guy up. carries. Might have been one he took in the midsection, Joe. It's hard to tell, Mike, but it looks like Petrozelli's head is hurt as well. I mean, he took a really hard one to the head. I think his nose is broken, they're saying. Let's take a look at it again. Man, you're right, a big power shot. Oh, see the blood all over his face? Yeah, and there's another one to the nose. He's, he's covering up, badly hurt. Now, I mean, with a guy like Vemela, you just can't take any chances. And if you let him just get one punch through, that could be a fight ender. You know, and Seth Petrozelli is very, very tough. So for him to turn up and turtle like this, he must have got really blasted. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Leon Roberts has called a stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 46 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by TKO, Carlos Vemela. Ultra impressive debut in the light heavyweight division for the native of the Czech Republic, Carlos Vemela as he defeats Seth Petrozelli. And here's Joe. All right, I'm here with the winner, Carlos Vemela. First of all, Carlos, congratulations. Uh, a good victory of a very, very tough opponent in Seth Petrozelli. How does it feel dropping down to light heavyweight and getting this victory? I mean, it does feel great. I should listen to my coaches and my managers before and should start UFC in light heavy because now all light heavy guys they're going to feel my power. I was strong enough in heavyweight. I'll be super strong in light heavyweight. Well, we saw that tonight. And if you take a look at the big screen, you can see some of your, your work here tonight. Big, big power in the slams and the ground and pound was vicious. And you see there, Petrozello is badly, badly hurt and forced to cover up. That's what we were training for. I got to give it to Seth. I could never beat him standing up. I knew it. I knew I can take him down and beat him up on the ground. And I've done it. I stick to the game plan. Did work. I'm dead. Well, congratulations on a very successful light heavyweight debut. Can't wait to see you again. Carlos Vemela, ladies and gentlemen. His first victory inside the octagon. It's very likely it's his first of many. Carlos Vemela.